Today, we will be diving deep into the world of accounting in Odoo. Specifically, we will be discussing the chart of accounts, how to create and configure it, and why it is essential for your business. If you're new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated with the latest Odoo tutorials. What is a chart of accounts? A chart of accounts, or COA, is the backbone of your financial system in Odoo. It's a structured list of all the accounts used in your business to record financial transactions. Each account is assigned a unique code and categorized into different types, such as assets, liabilities, equity, income, and expenses. Think of it as a well-organized filing system for your financial data, ensuring accuracy in bookkeeping and financial reporting. How to create a new chart of accounts in Odoo. To access the chart of accounts in Odoo, navigate to the accounting app. From there, go to configuration and select chart of accounts. From the list view of accounts, click create. This opens a new line for you to add basic information. Code. A unique number that helps in the identification of the account type and may also be coded with further information. This is an alphanumeric field that can also accommodate hyphens, decimals, and spaces. Account name. The name of the account. Type. The type of account, which is detailed below in the choosing an account type section. Allow reconciliation. Check this box if this account allows invoices and payments matching of journal items. When enabled, it will display the reconcile button. When these fields are complete, click save. Once saved, click setup to the far right of the new entry to open it in form view. From within the account, click to add any additional information. Type. This required field is used to define the financial reports on which the account will be included and where the accounts will appear on those reports. Also, the fields listed in this window will change based on the type selected. Choosing an account type in Odoo Accounting. Assets, what your business owns. Receivable, funds owed to you for products or services delivered. For example, you run an online store and sell a laptop to a customer on credit. The amount the customer owes is recorded in the account's receivable account until they pay. Bank and cash, transactions involving bank accounts and cash registers. For example, you receive a customer payment and deposit it into your business bank account. This transaction is recorded under bank and cash. Current assets, assets expected to convert into cash within a year. For example, your company stocks raw materials worth $10,000 to produce finished goods. These materials are part of current assets since they will be used within the year. Non-current assets, long-term investments that will not be converted into cash within a year. For example, you purchase a warehouse to store your inventory. Since it's a long-term asset, it's recorded as a non-current asset. Prepayments, advance payments made by customers. For example, a customer prepays $5,000 for an annual subscription service. Until the service is delivered, this amount is recorded in prepayments. Fixed assets, physical assets that cannot be quickly converted to cash. For example, you buy office furniture, machines, or company vehicles. These assets are expected to last for many years, so they are categorized as fixed assets. Liabilities, what your business owes. Payable, funds your business owes to suppliers. For example, you purchase inventory from a supplier on credit. The unpaid amount is recorded in accounts payable until you settle it. A credit card, a liability account for credit card transactions. For example, you buy office supplies using a business credit card. The outstanding balance on the credit card is recorded as a liability. Current liabilities, short-term financial obligations due within one year. For example, you take a short-term business loan that needs to be repaid in six months. This is recorded under current liabilities. Non-current liabilities, long-term financial obligations due after a year. For example, your company takes a five-year bank loan for business expansion. Since it's due beyond one year, it is recorded under non-current liabilities. Quitey, ownership interest in the business. Equity, represents the owner's interest in the company after liabilities. For example, you start a business with $50,000 as initial capital. This amount is recorded as equity in your accounts. Current year earnings, the net income or loss for the current financial year. For example, 
Your business generates $100,000 in sales and incurs $70,000 in expenses in the current year. The remaining $30,000 profit is recorded under current year earnings. Profit and loss, income statement accounts, income money coming in, income, revenue from the company's main business operations. For example, a retail store sells clothing items. The sales revenue from these transactions is recorded as income. Other income, revenue from sources outside the core business. For example, your company earns interest on bank deposits or receives rental income from leasing office space. This is recorded as other income. Expenses, money going out. Expense, costs incurred to run the business. For example, you pay electricity bills, rent, and employee salaries. These are recorded under expense accounts. Depreciation, the gradual reduction in value of fixed assets. For example, you buy a $50,000 company vehicle. Over time, its value decreases due to wear and tear. The reduction in value is recorded as depreciation expense. Cost of revenue, the cost directly related to making a sale. For example, a bakery sells cakes. The cost of flour, sugar, eggs, and labor used in making cakes is recorded as cost of revenue. Other accounts, off balance sheet, items not recorded as part of company assets or liabilities, but still reported. For example, your business provides a bank guarantee for a loan, but doesn't actually own the funds. This is recorded under off balance sheet items. Default taxes. If default taxes should apply to this account, select them here. This will auto-populate based on your app configuration. Tax. Optional keywords that assist in custom reporting. Allowed journals. Define which journals this account can be used for. Leave it empty for all journals. Account currency. If your system is set for multiple currencies, select what is appropriate for this account here. Allow reconciliation. Checking the box here sets the account's entries as available to be reconciled or matched to other entries. This is used in reconciling bank statements, matching vendor payments to vendor bills, cash receipts to customer invoices, etc. Deprecated. Use this as an alternative to deletion to indicate the account is no longer in use. Group. If your system has been set up to use account groups, then this field will indicate into which account group this account falls as set by its account number. Account groups assist in the organization and filtering your accounts and will also create subsections on your financial reports. Company. If you have multiple companies set up, set the company to which this account belongs. When finished, click Save. I hope you all have a clear understanding of the concepts covered in this video. If you have any questions or queries, feel free to leave a comment below. For more support, please subscribe, share, and like the video. And don't forget to click the bell icon to stay updated on my latest releases.